Is that him there asleep, did you ask? <laughs> Aye, the very same. Mems the facts. And now, my lads, you'll hardly miss to know what poor little Simmy is. Bless me, it's almost like a dream. But the very same, the very same. Grow a course and grow and understand ye. But you can't keep them small again nature, can ye? Look at him, John, the quiet he lies. And the fringe is combing over his eyes. I know I'm a fool, but feel that curl. Ah, is the only thing I have in all the world. Well, on we marched, and the little thing wasn't so heavy as a swallow's wing. A poor little bag of bones, that's all. He'd have broken two if I'd let him fall. And I tried all the little words I knew, the act and the way the women do. But bless ye, he wouldn't take no rest, but shoving his little head in my breast. For though I'd lived so long ashore, I'd never carried a child before. And not a far one at me. So the only plan was to make tracks straight off for Whitehaven and chance a lug at Woden there. Well, there's heaps of them yonder, never fear. And the first time I ever begged was then, and the women was really wuss till the men. Be off, says my lady, be off, you scamp. I never give nothing to a tramp. So I made her a bow, for I learnt with me letters to order myself to all my betters. But when the sun got low in the sky, little Simmy began to cry. Hungry, I says, and over a gate and into a field, and wait then, wait. And I put him sitting upon the grass. Dear moan me, the green it was, and the daisies and the buttercups that was in, and him grabbing at them astonishing. So I milked the cow, and I held my cap, and I gave it to the little chap. And he supped it heartily enough the sweep, and stretched himself and off to sleep. And I just good supper, nothing to pay, and over the hills and far away. So by hook or by crook, or however it was, I got down to Whitehaven at last. And a Ramsey lugger they call the map, Jimmy Corkle, I knew the chap. Hello, says I, hello, says he. It's yourself that's been on the devil's spree, and a baby at you too, my word. All right, I says I, and heaves him aboard, and bless his soul the fun, and a child in. So that's the way I got to the island. I landed at Ramsey and started off as soon as I could, and passed Palaf and Kirk Michael and the Balacrain. I hadn't been there, I couldn't tell you the when. And you may think how he wasn't much of a load, but I was checked when I come on the mountain road. And I found a spot where the ling was high, and terrible thick and soft and dry, and a big rock standing, nor east by east, the way of the wind, a beautiful place. So I laid me down, and the child in my arms, and a quick little breath, and the dogs at the farms, and the curlews whistling passing by, and the noise of the river below, and the sigh of the mountain breeze, I kept awake. And a star come out like a swan on a lake, white and lonely, and a sort of amazement got hold of me. And the leads of a casement criss-crossed on the sky like a window frame, and the long, long look, and the far it came. Ah, oh dear, I thought it was Jenny, Mac Jenny McGee, in heaven making signs to me. And sleep at last, and when I woke, the stars was gone, and the day was broke, and the bees beginning to think of the honey, and who was there but little Sonny, loosed from my arms and catching my hair and laughing, <laughs> I laughed too, I'll swear, and says I, come see me, my little buffer, you're small, but what is it saying, suffer the little children to come to me. So here goes Simmy, and glory be, I said, and our father, and two or three little hymns I remembered. Let dogs delight, the first two verses middle and, middle and right, and little boy with cheerful eye, bright and blue as, as yonder sky. And down and taking the road to the land, and the clear the sun was shining then, 
no church that white. And below the stones, and well, you know, you know. But at last I come to the shore, and I ran. For though it was early, I saw a man digging lug on the beach, and I didn't want to meet the like. So I made a slant and back in, in by the claddock lane, and round by the gable. Ned knows what I mean. And in at the door, and mother, I said, mother. But she was still in bed. Mother, look here, look here, I cried. And I told her all about how Ginny had died. And this was the youngster and what I intended. She heard me till my story was ended. And just like a stone, ah, never a word. And me getting angry till this little bird chirrups up like with a crow and a leap. And mammy seepy, mammy a seep. Just that baby way. Ah, then the flood of the woman's life come into her blood. And she stretched her arms and I gave him to her. And she cried till she couldn't cry no more. And she took her to him grand. Though of course at first her hand was out, you see, to nurse. But after dinner she had him as nice. And a singing bless you with her poor old vice. The sun was down when I left them a while. And up the claddock and over the stile and into the old churchyard. And trying to find the place where Betsy was lying. It was nearly dark, but I wasn't alone, for I seen a man bending over a stone, and the look, and the heave of the breast, I could see it was a man in his agony, and nearer, nearer, the head, the hair, the stoop, it was Taylor, Taylor there, and then it all come back again, and all the trouble, and all the pain, and the one thought in my head, him there at her grave. I stopped and I said, May Jesus save his soul, for his life is in my hand. Life for life, it's God's command. Life for life. And I measured my step. So long he shall live. My crep and crep. Ah, the murderers creep. God give him grace, thinks I. And then to him and looked at his, in his face. Ah, oh, that face, he raised it. I wasn't surprised. It wasn't fear that was in his eyes, but the look of a man that's fairly done with everything that's under the sun. Ah, oh, mates, however it was with me, he had loved her. He loved her, my Betsy Lee. Taylor, I said, but he never spoke. You loved her, I said, and your heart is broke. And he looked, ah, oh, the look. Come, give us your hand. I says, forgive you, I can. I can for the love that was so terrible strong, for the love that made you do the wrong. And with them words I saw the story tell you of, but bright afar, it wasn't Ginny, but Betsy now. Mr. Taylor, I says, we cannot tell how, but it was love. Yes, yes, it was love, it was love. And he's taken her to his self above, and it's him that'll see that nothing annoys her. And watch below, turn up, I eye, sir.